have a stationary bike inside of Marty's Liquors where they give you a smeared off nip every time you hit a mile. I did 15 miles. And how'd you get here? I drove. You drove here? Yeah. Mm, okay. I'm you, good. Okay. Are you? Um, so, I, I, don't, I don't believe that you're good. Do you, realize, do you realize that you've been involved in an accident? No. No? You don't, you don't realize you've been involved in an accident? No. Hold on. An accident? Me? Officer, stop. How? No. Now, this part's a bit of a wild card because you don't really know if she's just denying it because she knows she fucked up or if she's drunk enough to genuinely not know that she hit another car. 50-50, quite frankly. Could go either way. What happened? I was not in an accident. You were in an accident? No. No? Okay. Well, I, I, don't, I don't believe you, ma'am. Uh, you, you have got front end damage to the front of your vehicle. You said that you drove here. Despite repeated requests for her name, the woman remained uncooperative and provided a false name. What, what's her name, ma'am? Circling back, not for nothing, but who? Who goes bike riding when you're hammered? That's like the last thing I want to do if I chugged a quick 750 of Gordon's, you know, before noon time. But I guess everyone has their thing. Bike riding just wouldn't be mine if I was fun. What's her name, ma'am? Can't borrow your phone. Uh, I'm not gonna let you borrow my phone unless I know what. Left my friend, maybe with, at my friend's house. At your friend's house? So yeah. did you give her your friend's house before or after the bike yeah, ride? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ride every day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, we ride. We have a Napa Park, Ohio. What's your name? You have your ID on you? Did I need my phone? Yeah, don't worry about that. Did I need my phone with you? me twice call your husband clearly getting pissed off barbara you've called me six times your phone's not here it's probably in your purse you lightweight idiot good for her though for thinking to use her watch to make the call i've had an apple watch for years i don't think i would have ever thought to use it to call someone that's probably on me though i'm a bit of an idiot I think I love what's your name ma'am what's your name i'll need to tell you my name mm. oh, you are currently being detained what? for a motor vehicle accident for what you struck another vehicle with your vehicle. Uh, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Like, well, ma'am, there's like 15 other people in the parking lot that called us, actually, that said they saw you strike another vehicle and then get out of your car and lock yourself out and stop dropping things consistently. I do think she could have avoided all this if instead of drinking a liter of McGillicuddy's to get ready for her bike ride, she instead listened to some pump-up music, maybe on some wireless earbuds. Fortunately, today's video sponsor has just the thing for her so stay tuned and then we'll get back into this disaster as it starts to spiral downward just a little bit more it just snowed again here in new england which means more tedious snow removal for this guy fortunately my raycon wireless earbuds are the perfect companion for listening to my favorite bands like system of a down while i'm throwing powder they look and feel amazing. Whether you're at the gym, lying around the house, or slipping them under your winter hat like I just was, their sleep profile and optimized gel tips create the perfect in-ear fit that do not budge. They're also priced just right. At half the price of other premium audio brands, it's nice to be able to grab a pair without mortgaging your house. I'm also a huge fan of their customizable sound profile, so I can put it on pure sound while I'm listening to podcasts. And with a simple long press of the left ear tap function, I can switch to balanced or bass mode for music listening. In a similar fashion you can switch between noise isolation and awareness modes depending on how much ambient noise you want to block out by a simple long press of the right ear tap function many of you guys know i've been partnered with raycon for half a decade now and your orders through my link in the description over the years have directly supported my channel so i want to thank you so much for that if you've never tried them i think you're gonna love them and you can get 15 percent off your order plus free shipping by going to buyraycon.com slash leon lush Thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring the channel, and thank you guys so much for listening. And the arrest begins. Why did you say you didn't? I did not. Well, you just told me that you did. No, because you told me that you drove, and then you've got witnesses that are stating that you hit another vehicle. I did not. I deny it. I did not. So what is your name? I just want to be able to be polite and interact with you. I'm Officer Ryan. What's your name? Uh, Penelope. Penelope. What's your last name? Penelope with a smug grin. Penelope is the name you go for for your pseudonym when you're trying to hide your name from the cops. Interesting first name to come to mind. The officer, to his credit, is being prestigiously respectful so far. Are you willing to do some uh, field tests for me to make sure that you're not intoxicated today? No, I'm no? not. I'm you're not intoxicated? No, I was riding bicycles. 
Officer, I'm not drunk. Don't you see my bike shorts? You can't be drunk and ride a bike, and you definitely can't be drunk and wearing bike shorts. So that's two out of two. Uh, Penelope's not drunk. I'm not. I just uh, needed a can of paint. I understand. I see you got a can of paint. Uh, and it seems like you're also struggling to get out of here. I you don't have your phone, you don't have your wallet, you don't have your, your ID, keys, anything. I do have my ID. Okay. Oh, uh, can we see? So do you mind explaining what's going on? What, no, what, what? You're not, you're not I'm just positive. waiting for my husband because obviously I lost the keys to my car. Okay. So you can be on your way. I'm not heading out anywhere. Okay. Are you? Are you? <laughs> Anyways, officer, good talking to you. I'm just gonna keep looking for this phone. You can be on your way. Have a nice day. Thank you for trying and stopping by. Okay. Now I'm on the fence here because this could be two types of drunk. This could be like your liter of vodka before noon, habitual alcoholic who's like somewhat functional. Alternatively. I've known a lot of wine moms that, you know, maybe she went over to a friend's house before the bike ride and had maybe an extra glass of wine, maybe two glasses instead of one, and that second glass of wine really started to interact with the pharmaceutical cocktail she takes every morning. So she's like the wine mom that drinks consistently, usually pretty functional, but maybe went a little overboard and it fucking... I'm thinking it's probably the former, but certainly there's a myriad of indications here that probably you should let her drive her car. So. At this point, if you're going to refuse field tests, we're going to escalate this. I'm going to arrest you from the mm. real mom. What's that? Operating a vehicle impaired. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nope. So from the evidence I've gotten from the witnesses, I'm getting an odor of alcoholic yes. beverage yes. coming from you. Excuse I like her style, though, because just like Andrew Tate says, right, if you don't believe in depression, <laughs> depression can't have control over you. And similar to that, this woman feels like if you don't believe in OWI or getting arrested, you can't get arrested for OWI. It's, just, it's very simple. It's manifestation. It's like the secret. Let's see if it works out for her in the second half. Are you Are you willing to do the field test? Show me that you're not impaired? Okay. I'm not willing to do anything, not sir. Not willing to do anything? No. Okay. You turn around put your hands behind your back? No. No. All right. Yeah. Okay. Alright, 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 I'll do the thing. Oh, there it goes. The second it gets real, now we're willing to do the sobriety test all of a sudden. Too late, bitch! Too late. We've already got it. Turn around, put your hands behind the back. Oh, the tag's hanging out. Don't touch me. I will report you. I will do the thing. Whatever you want me to do. Yeah. No F21, I will not yeah. do. Uh, put the receiver down, put the walkie talkie down. No F21s, I'll do the thing. I'm not getting arrested. And in fact, officer, you can be on your way. As I've said before, I do have a level of empathy for these people when I watch videos like this, but I do not at the same time have a problem kind of broadcasting it because people like this should be forced to sit down and watch this shit of themselves, right? Embarrassing. I mean, this is someone's grandmother probably. So you hate to see it, but at the same time, it's inexcusable, so. I will do the thing. It is what it is. I'm buying paint. Don't, don't do this. You're, you're already past that, man. Don't the trans dealer, like your brain. Who the hell's going to repaint the guest bathroom now, though, if she's locked up overnight in the drunk tank? This is outrageous. Yes, I will walk the walk, whatever you want. Do a straight line, nose, touchy, touchy. Dude, Matt Black cops, no. let's go. These are that. sexy as hell. No, we are not doing this. No, Ari, uh, no, 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 no. We're not doing this. You are not. You make your own choices and will tell the truth your financial situation. Of u gaat in je eerste auto waar je zo trots op bent, wij helpen je met financieel advies, zodat je ontspannen je eerste kilometers maakt.
Please do not touch me. I will report you. Oh, well, if you're going to report me, then I guess be on your way. I'm sorry. You should have told me that in the beginning, ma'am. I, I apologize. Please don't report me for arresting you for being a fool. I, I do. I, I'm so sorry. Back up has a ride. Put your hands behind your back now. <laughs> Yo, wow, dude. My man came in with purpose. Holy shit, full sprint. Michael Johnson in the 500 meter fucking came and take over, dude. Look at this. Put your hands behind your back now. <laughs> He's like, nah, fuck that, Mitchell. You ain't getting the cuffs on. You know that's my favorite part, Mitchell. Came in like a bat out of hell. Resisting what? Resisting arrest. Yeah, you just stacking charges. I don't know. I didn't do anything. I don't know. It just seems so peculiar to me how that guy, like, he must have been somewhat in the know based on the radio, but he really pulled in there with sirens blazing full sprint to finish up that cuff session. Had a boring morning, maybe. Just needed a little action. I know. I know. Oh, <laughs> you get the bystanders okay. telling you what to do now. Man, 12 with 99. Yeah, is this her car? No. No. All right, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. No. I, I will drag you to this car in front of I everybody. Know. I don't she care. Let's go. I'm well, you lost that privilege. So we've been dealing with good cop. Bad cop just arrived. Or at least takes no shit cop. Yeah, no time for it. Quite frankly, that is typically how you have to deal with drunk people. It's a waste of time to try to reason with them. Just do what you're gonna do, get it over with. For OBI, doing the right thing. resisting arrest and obstruction. Can I just, just call my phone? Nope. No? You're gonna go to jail. You're gonna get oh, call from jail. All right, do you have cameras on? Yep. Yeah. Miami. I mean, Did we not surmise that you left your phone at your friend's house? Or have you already forgotten that as well, much like you forgot that you hit another motor vehicle before winding up drunk in a Lowe's parking lot trying to buy paint? <laughs> Why do you have to not listen to us? Take a seat in the car. I am a really nice woman. Well, you're not showing that right now. I don't doubt that. Go sit in the car. Why can't you say But, uh, um, well, it I, is. I was on. Six o'clock. You're intoxicated. Who Go was sit. that? Sit I was car. on a bike ride with my friend. Sit in the car. And I stopped to get gas. Sit in the car or I'm going to put you in there. Don't be so to get sick. And I stopped to get cast. It's in the car. Stop to get cast? Yes. I don't know. But then once again, officer, how can you be drunk if you are on a bike ride? It doesn't make sense. I have bike shorts on. Impossible. Don't be so mean. Sit in the car, and we're going to put you in there. You do not have to be so mean. Sit in the car. I will. Why are Boy. you being so aggressive? Jesus, God. Oh, this is Sit in the car, I'm going to pull you in. Just. Let's know what he's asking you oh to do. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Kathy. Uh -uh. Jesus Christ. Son of a bitch, Leon. You idiot. I know what it means. You know, I've, I've been there. The self-loathing. Not typically in the back of a cop car, but apparently her name's not Penelope. News to me. Or Kathy's her friend. I'm going to go on, on a limb and say she's talking in a third person about herself as she's kind of grappling with the reality of, of what's going on here. Ah! Hello. Little boy, can I get my phone out of my car, please? Oh, boy. Let's call my husband. Hello. Do you need anything else from me? Yes, I need my phone. Oh, very good. Yeah. I'm no, good. I need my phone. From Gen X, Gen Z, all the way to Boomer, everyone just needs their phone at all times, right? Doesn't matter. We've seen videos on this channel from like the kids in high school that have to spray their teacher when they take their phone away. And now we got, you know, Grandma Penelope over here that can't shut up because she hasn't had her phone in her hand for 10 minutes. And it's raining and I'm trying to get home. And what is your and name? Oh my Jerking me
could not do well on a roller coaster, bro. <laughs> Struggling in the back of that cruiser. Guy takes a mild turn. Ah! I am reporting. Ah! What is it about these people that always with the idle threats in the back of the car every fucking time? It feels like it's mostly females that do it. Women? I actually got shit in the comments for saying females one time on this channel. Crazy to me. Is that? Are we not supposed to say females? Anyways, I don't know what it is, but she, it's always the, uh, the idle threats about, oh, I'm going to charge you for sexual harassment, or I have so much, and you, your badge is mine, buddy. Actually, I take that back. Kevin. You remember the one with Kevin, with the crack pipe we saw? We're probably not even going to ever be on the force again, just so you know. He was big into the threats about getting people's jobs taken, but uh, it's kind of ubiquitous among these people that just don't ever take responsibility for their own actions. It's always, oh, I'm going to make your life a living hell if you make me look in the mirror one time. Ryan, you shit. You little Give me my purse. You little shit, Ryan. Because she's getting drunker by the second somehow, just progressively. I don't know she was like, had a few nips that hadn't hit, hadn't hit the bloodstream yet, but with adrenaline of, you know, hitting two things with your car and then forgetting about it, maybe that's where it off. But who's starting to talk a little more? Oh my god. I can't even see. You better turn on your windshield wipers, buddy. I'm going to report you. I can't even see out of the window. Turn them on. Please. Of all reasons to get upset at your arresting officer and something that possibly might give you legs in a complaint against the department, the windshield wipers not being on fast enough is definitely at the top of that list. That is a valid complaint. Excuse me, little boy. Just one more click, please. I like it when it goes continuously. If there's any, if there's any break, if there's any rest in between wipes. It gives me anxiety as the beads of rain start to build up. I'd like to be on the setting that's not too fast. The one that's just like slow but continuous, please, little boy. Sir. I'm in low spine pain. What the hell is with you guys? I think, I think you were drinking pain. <laughs>